Hello learner, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. On our previous lesson, we looked at the characteristics of plants. And today, I want us to go into details to learn more about the characteristics of plants. First, before we go and take a nature walk, I would want we pair in two and do a recap of what we had said. From you, Jen, what did we say plants do or their characteristics? Correct. Plants breathe. That is one characteristic of plants. What else did we say, John? We said plants do what? They grow. Correct. You are still correct because plants, they normally grow. Also, we said plants make their own food. For the plants to grow, they are the only creature God created as living thing that makes plants for themselves. So plants, they normally make plant, uh, food for themselves. They also respond to the changes in the environment. That is correct. And you, Victoria, what else did we say plants do? Plants, they wither or they dry or die up. So I would like us, we pair into twos, take a nature walk and see whether these things we have said, the characteristics of plants are really True. So class, can we get off class and take a nature walk? We have said the first thing, plants, they breathe. And on this plant that we had just done some few experiments yesterday, I would wonder as we see how pl plants breathe. You can see from this paper or this plant that we tied a paper, a plastic paper on the leaf is to show that plants are breathing. There is accumulation of what? What can you see, Victoria? There is some droplets, correct? There is droplets of water. So we say as the plants breathe, they sometimes lose water, a process that we learn in an higher class, but we call it transpiration. They lose water during their breathing process. So plants breathe the way human beings breathe. So can we continue and experience more? Plants grow. And today we have come to this farm. We experience the growth of the seedlings which were planted here as seed earlier before. As you can see, this is a small plant. And this plant was planted as a seed. And as you can see, we can also see the first leaves which we call them cotyledons. They have grown from this big, smaller one. Now it has become a bit bigger. Can you check? Just look at, have a look, a smaller one. Now it has grown to this bigger one. Then after some time, it also grows to become a bit bigger, more than this one. So can we look, take a look at this one? This now has grown from small it was a bit, has grown to be a bit bigger. It is a bit bigger plant than the way we had seen it earlier on. So, in short, we say plants grow. Another characteristic of plants is that they die. And as you can see at these stumps, were once big grown trees and now they are dead. They have dried up and finally the owner decided to cut them because they are of no use. So plants at the extent of their lifespan, a time will come for them to die. And dying of plant, we say they will wither and dry up. And this now cannot be a live tree again. It is dead. So plants die. We have said also plants respond to changes in the environment and in our case due to hot season plants they will respond by shedding their leaves so that they may reduce the usage of water in their system so like you can see these are just some of leaves which have been shedded because of dry weather so plants change to the changes in the environment. They normally respond to the changes in the environment. You can also look at this tree. 
hive and now it is responding to changes and these changes are shedding of leaves because of dry spell you can also see this one is responding to touch because once it has been touched it responds is a response to the changes of the in the environment and changes in the environment is to coil up and it is coiling as you can see this one coiling up plus the other characteristics of plants is that they reproduce and one way of increasing is reproduction and they reproduce as you can see this banana plant it has already reproduced to small fruits which we call them bananas so in summary we have said plants they have their outstanding characteristics which make them living beings that is they grow they reproduce they respond to changes in the environment they also die so when you go home an activity for us take the tablet of your parents or the gadget that he has or she has look for the photos of all these characteristics which we have looked at and take a photo print the pictures and bring them to class tomorrow or the next lesson so that we may attach them to our portfolio for our future reference have a wonderful time